Hello, my name is Adrian Hillman. I'm a sales representative for Caterpillar in the Industrial Power Systems Division. And what I'm going to be talking about to you here is the, uh, the all new Caterpillar C 3.6 engine. So the 3.6 liter is, our, is a new engine developed in-house by CAT. Um, it is a ground up all new design and we're very proud, we're very excited to get it out into the market. So what I'm going to be doing is walking around showing you a few of the features that uh, we've taken into consideration and obviously designed this engine around. Uh, we've had a lot of feedback from our customers so we've made several improvements um, to this engine uh, based on the current platform. So the 3.6, uh, it has a power range of 74 horsepower up to 134, uh, peak torque at 406 foot-pounds and, um, and it is a dual certified engine. So what that means is it is, uh, it is stage 5 and tier 4 compliant so it's uh, it includes a turbo after cooler it's a turbo after cooled engine um, and again I'll, I'll talk through some of the features that it has uh, but it's really it's the the intent behind or the the the, um, the goals behind the development of this engine is to lower the overall cost to customers make it easier to install um, and of course provide a reliable engine for uh, for any equipment manufacturer to have in their machine so I will, um, you know, pointing, starting off here, I can, I'll point out the, the power takeoff. So power takeoff for our PTO now, compared to the 3.4B that we have, um, it is now being run off the flywheel housing. So it is, uh, it's on the back of the engine. Um, it, there's a rear gear train um, in this, inside this housing here that drives the PTO. And one of the great features, um, you know, I, I work with, with, with several OEMs, and one of the great features you can see here is there is a lot of space, right, which simplifies uh, the installation work if you're running you're trying to run any kind of auxiliary pump or let's say a compressor um, so you can see we've we've left a lot of open space here for customers that might need um, might need to install something on the back of this so think of maybe a, a hydraulic oil pump for oil oil supply pump for a hydraulic system um, you know now you can install that much easier on this side um, down below we've got a we've got a composite oil pan um, in, a, in a stiffened block. Those two features uh, were, were designed to reduce noise. Uh, so lowering the engine noise, lowers the overall machine noise output, uh, which can be a large benefit for customers that have certain noise requirements, right? You know, we're trying to keep the, the, the engine quiet so it's, it, you know, it's running smooth and, and uh, you know, we have a happier operator. Uh, so up top here is a turbocharger. Again, I mentioned this is a turbo after-cooled engine. Um, the turbocharger features an electronic wastegate. Um, the benefit to that is it's allowing this engine to really control, um, control its operation, run at peak performance in a variety of applications. So this engine is, you know, it's been designed uh, for all kinds of off-highway applications. So you could think of um, agriculture tractors or construction equipment, um, industrial pumps, uh, things of that sort. So, you know, as you're installing it in different applications, you want it to run, um, you know, at its best performance. So having some of these latest technologies helps the engine run at, at peak performance, as I mentioned, in, in, a, in a variety of applications. So if we move over here, over to the right side, I'll talk a little bit more about um, some of the some of the items on the right side of the engine. Uh, one of them being, and then this is uh, this is different from our current offering, but you know the oil filter, right? So engines uh, they're, they're going to require maintenance. Um, and having when we designed this oil filter, we wanted to make it easy for you know the local cat dealer or the OEM OEM customer um, or maybe the, even their dealership and technicians to be able to service um, be able to service this oil filter. So you can unscrew the top the top here. It's a cartridge style filter. You can see we've we've designed a side of the engine to have plenty of room to make easy you know uh, removal and installation um, and you know we're focused on trying to make the servicing of this engine uh, quick easy uh, to, to increase uptime right so time is money and we want to we want to make it as easy as possible for our customers to service um, of course the the 3.6 features a common rail direct injected fuel system uh, I talked I mentioned the the 74 horsepower to 134 horsepower range, you know, the, the common rail system is, is, uh, is a big part of that, right? So we've created a robust fuel, fuel injection system that allows this engine to run through or have several ratings um, that it can run at 
again at peak performance. So, um, you know, if you're running this engine also at different altitudes, this common rail system is going to allow for the right compensation. So you're so you're getting the maximum performance wherever you're running the machine. Uh, one one feature that's not uh, I guess you know installed on this show engine here, uh, but it's worth mentioning is the after treatment system. So you know with the tier four final and stage five uh, uh, compliance, um, the 3.6 does come with with an after treatment system, and we offer an option that is uh, that allows that that system to be mounted to the engine. So you would have the two cans here on the back. Um, it's already installed, which again, that helps lower the cost of installation for our customers, just simplifies the overall, uh, the amount of time it takes to engineer the engine in. So a large benefit to, you know, to our OEMs uh, and, and of course, you know, that's offered from the factory. We do have other offerings if you need to remote mount the after treatment um, or, you know, as I mentioned, you want to you have it on. We, we have a variety of options with this engine. Um, I'd like to point out too that uh, the 3.6 has uh, the capability of running uh, transparent regeneration. So including, you know, for, we talked a little bit about the common rail system, you know, we've got intake throttle valves, we've got various pieces of technology on this engine that's going to allow it to run where it needs to so it can regen without having to interfere with the operator. Uh, so that, again, that ties back into, you know, having more uptime and, and lowering the operating costs for our customers. Um, another th last thing I'd mention here too is, you know, compared to the 3.4B that we offer today, the 3.6 actually has 5% increase in power and overall power density, 12% increase in torque, and it's uh, 6 to 10% less uh, def fluid consumption. So, again, we're we're in, we're getting more out of a we're getting more out of a, 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 a this you know a smaller package, and we're we're working to reduce uh, the fluid consumption. So. Again, driving lower costs to our customers and while providing a reliable solution. Mm -hmm.